is Aaron Dominion and welcome to the Creation Kit Scripting Series Papyrus Tutorials. This is going to be the last part of the Invents and Functions Unit. I know it's taken a while and this is the 20th part. And we are going to cover calling events as functions. So just to do a refresher because we've been going on functions this whole time. An event is a special function called when something occurs within the game. Like, uh, it's gone from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. in the game, or um, something just appears in front of you for the first time, or some you've just hit something. I mean, anything that's an action in the game usually has an event associated with it. So, <laughs> events can be called outside of the scope, and you can force an event to fire. Since it's a function, you just call it like a function. In this example that I have here, we have the on init function, and it's calling on update explicitly in here. So once it's initializing, it'll call on update, and then the contents of on update will be fired. That's pretty cool if we want to have some specific behavior happen without having to register for updates or whatever we want to do. There are functions or events out there that have parameters just like functions, and usually you use that to be like, okay, who just killed this player, or okay, who was the caster, what was the target, um, but you can give it explicit parameters, but you must give it something. So in this following example, we have again the uninitialize event being called and then we're using the on death event here and we're passing in the player as the killer so it will go through and do whatever on death uh, requires of it and use the player potentially for whatever has been defined so the cool thing about uh, calling events as functions you can call an event, any single event, from any script because you're making an explicit call. So I went through just a quick example. We have a script that extends object reference. So normally it can only listen for events that object reference and anything above it can listen for. But because we're doing an explicit call, it can handle the on death event even though that's a part of the actor object. Which we'll go into object what objects are and such at a later point, but this is important because you can cause any sort of behavior you want for, with an, an event from whatever script you're working with. So let's go and uh, test out calling events as functions. So I started off uh, the creation kit. We have a cell called events calling events and like we've been using there is a logic barrel here. So what we want to do is add a script here to it. It'll take in a moment. And we want to call this script events calling events. And for the purposes, because I am going to be using the on init event here, let's have a counter, because we will be calling init from itself a few times. So init called is going to be the name of this uh, property. <laughs> and let's give it a default value of zero, because it's going to start off without being called at all. So let's go to the source for it, and let's start making our on init lock. And then in here, we just want to do an automatic increment of init called because it will be called. And we're going to do a plus equals to achieve that. Now, let's use an if block. Check if the called times is 
less than, let's say three. Or less than or equal to three. So if it called less than or equal to three, let's give an else in here because we will be using an else for this. Um, and then let's let's have a little bit of fun with this. Let's do um, special messages for each stage of our initialization. So if called is less than or equal to one. We're going to do. We're just going to use message boxes to show the behavior. So I have initialized for the first time. And we're going to do the next call here. And we're just going to say, I just initialized the And we're going to do the final one. And we're going to just say, well, we don't need the else up here. Let's just make it an else. And we're going to just say stop. And it's going to print that at the very end of all of this. And now we are going to call on death whenever it does this the fourth time. So we need to define our on death event. Then within here, we're just going to do a simple um, message and say, I have been called. We're not actually going to do anything with the variable or the AK killer in this scenario, but we could if we wanted to. So, regardless of what's going on here, we want to call on init in the first block. In this one, we want to call on death, and then we want to do game.getPlayer, and just as a simple way of doing it. And now, if we save this, it compiled, and we can see the results of this in the game. I will see everybody in a moment in the game. Alright, so we are loading in game right now to see the effects of what we just did in the live coding segment. That's taking its time. Alright, I have initialized for the first time. I just initialized though. Because of how Skyrim does the message boxes, it called the on death before it called the last part of it, but that's okay. And then we have stop. And what just happened was on init was called four times. It printed message boxes three times. And then it called the on death event the fourth time. And the fourth time it printed off another message box. Uh, and this it's simple behavior what we just did, but I hope you can see how cool, uh, what cool items you can do with it, uh, because you're able to call various events within uh, or outside of the scope that they normally would be called. And I'm going to head back to the slides for the final part of this video. And that was the conclusion of the events and functions section, as well as the conclusion of uh, covering events being called as functions. Um, if you have any questions about what was covered in this video, I have a Nexus profile, and uh, I also have 
a forum Nexus profile that will be linked here in the YouTube description. Um, contact me there or on YouTube um, if you have any questions about uh, what has been covered in this past videos. Um, if you have any specific questions uh, or special topics you want me to cover, I will take a look at it and do it when I can. I'm strapped for time a lot of the time uh, with all the work I'm doing and then other priorities sometimes factor into that. Um, but until next time, I'll see everybody on the next episode.